welcome back to Skyrim. All right, here we are in the Soul Care on the way to take care of another one of these boneheads, keepers, whatever. And it just occurred to me, I should see about recharging my daggers. Since I've been... Uh, using quite a bit of them let's see let's get the boat recharged I just realized that was out and how about chill rend it's okay and where is oh my other sword is missing. Uh, hopefully it's at home and I just put it away by accident. All right. Anyway, quick save and move on. And let's quit with the sneak. Just get moving. And find this second keeper. And get after this. You know, I was just looking at my files and... Uh, What, what is this? Soul husk. Okay. All right. Might as well grab as much as that as I, Oh, here we go. Where'd Another bone man. And more soul gems. Apparently they harvest soul husks, too. Um, Who's there? Some Nimrod up here with a bow. That'll teach you. Darn right. Okay. Anybody else want to join this little party? All right. I believe I was headed this way. All right. Wonder what that's supposed to be. <laughs> Maybe some kind of an energy conduit or something. I don't know. All right. Yeah, this looks like almost like a fortress kind of thing. Is there a way in over here? Yep. And... There's our boy. Alright. Let's just Where'd get in here from? and rush him. Alright. Another keeper down. Dragonbone Mace. Oh, I'll take it because of its value. You have an arrow in your shoulder. Well, had. Okay. That means off to the east is the next one. Take that. Okay, yeah. I've been having a heck of a day today with recording. I sat down a few hours ago to record episode 90. And here I am recording episode 94. I don't mind if I do. Conjure Bone Man. Okay. 
Presumably, if I were to conjure them, they would... Oh, here we are. Presumably, if I were to conjure one, it would be a little bit stronger than this. Okay. We're finished here, huh? Okay. Cool. Moving onward we are. Towards the third tower, castle, whatever it is. I haven't seen this Arvac horse thing around anywhere. Nor have I any clue where one would find its skull. Who's there? I knew I heard something. Where are you? Oh. to mention that we're finished with that all right this way yeah I'm gonna end up having to come back here and uh, find that that horse skull because that sounds like an interesting thing you wouldn't expect to find a lot of side quests in a place like that so it's worth doing. I bet this one's on the other side of this little castle thingy. Where Mother is. Yep. Oh, cute. Force field reinforcement for the castle wall. Okay. No, it's beyond the, the wall, the castle thing. The floating tower there. Uh-huh. Ah, another soul fisher. I'll take that. Oh. Aren't you special? Ah, uh, yes. You're special with your... With all your ice and stuff. How do you think about my... Flaming daggers. Oh, I didn't want that Warhammer thing. Yo, Serana, where are you at? There's another one out there somewhere. Oh. You missed all the fun. Ah. Oh. Apparently, I have to jump into this. Okay. Quick saving. Let's go. Nice effect. Presumably she's going to follow. Yep. Where'd you come from? Who are you? You seeking them through the walls? Oh, come on.
I can't do that. Okay, that looks painful. Okay, dragon bone bow and dragon bone arrows, that I will take. Okay, you know what else I'll take? A health potion or three. Or maybe just two. All right. That must be the way back down. Serena? Okay. Okay. Three boneheads down. And now... Yeah, speak to Valerica. Time to go see Mother Deer. If I can get out of this blasted blankety-blank menu. Alright, empty, empty, not empty, full of junk, empty. Alright. Empty. All right. Okay, heading back to talk to Mother Deer. Okay, here we are. Yo, Mother. We got the force field you down. You managed to destroy all three keepers? Very impressive. Well, I'm awesome like that. Yes. Please follow me. Keep watch for Dernevere. With the prison's barrier down, he's almost certain to investigate. Okay, let him come. I've got something for Dernevere. I've got something real special for him. Keep that. And just take all the rest of this. I think I've got those at home. Don't mind me, I'm going to take all of your alchemy stuff. All of it. Boom, she zipped through that door fast. Wait, I hear something. Of course you do. Defend yourself. You I heard Where'd you come from? Oh, Dern of here. I have something for you. Yo. Yo. Dernevere. I want your... I want your loot. All right, give me the soul anyway. Well, that's it. Okay. Let me grab the goodies out of these embers. Where's the rest of them? I know there were more. Well, here's one. Okay. I guess it's time to go speak with Mother Deer. Okay. Yo, Mommy Dearest. Forgive my astonishment, but I never thought I'd witness the death of that dragon. That's why they call me Dovakin. Volumes written on Dernevere alleged that he can't be slain by normal means. It appears they were mistaken. Unless... Well, everybody tells me I'm not normal, so there you go. But you were saying... The soul of a dragon is as resilient as its owner's scaly hide. It's possible that your killing blow has merely displaced Dernevere's physical form while he reconstitutes himself. Well, and he'll take how long to do that? Minutes? Hours? Years? I can't even begin to guess. I suggest we don't wait around to find out. 
Now, let's get you the Elder Scroll, and you can be on your way. Okay. Oh, look at here. Yeah. All sorts of yummy little goodies. And I'm going to take them without even looking at what they are. I didn't want to do that. Elder Scroll of Blood. That's it. That's the last scroll. Yep. Okay. Now that you've retrieved the Elder Scroll, you should be on your way. Oh, you're not coming? I have no choice. As I told you before, I'm a daughter of Cold Harbor. If I return to Tamriel, that increases Harkon's likelihood of bringing the tyranny of the sun to fruition. Well, I guess we'll come back, uh, although we could use your help. As much as it pains me to send you and Serana back alone, I can't take the risk. Remember that Harkon is not to be trusted. No matter what he promises, he'll deceive you in order to get what he wants. And promise me you'll keep my daughter safe. She's the only thing of value I have left. Okay, not trusting... not trusting Harkon... That's a no-brainer. That is a total, complete no-brainer. Well, I mean, you just don't trust a weasel like that. I don't want that stuff. You just don't. Because he will backstab you at the earliest opportunity. Okay, let's get out of here and head back. I'm going to have to come back and explore this place later. Oh! Is it time for round two? Stay your weapons. I would speak with you, Quinarin. And uh, you were dead. Cursed, not dead. <coughs> Doomed to exist in this form for eternity. Trapped between Laas and Enoch. Between life and death. Okay, well... Why are we talking? I believe in civility among seasoned warriors, and I find your ear worthy of my words. My claws have rendered the flesh of innumerable foes, but I have never once been felled on the field of battle. I therefore honor name you Quanarin, or Vanquisher in your tongue. Uh-huh, okay. Well, you didn't do so bad yourself. Your words do me great honor. My desire to speak with you was born from the result of our battle, Quanarin. I merely wish to respectfully ask a favor of you. Ah, what kind of favor? I'm a little leery of favors, you know? For countless years I've roamed the Soul Cairn in unintended service to the Ideal Master. Before this, I roamed the skies above Tamriel. I desire to return there. Well, then return. What's stopping you? I fear that my time here has taken its toll upon me. I share a bond with this dreaded place. If I ventured far from the Soul Cairn, my strength would begin to wane until I was no more. And how do I help? I will place my name with you and grant you the right to call my name from Tamriel. Do me this simple honor, and I will fight at your side as your Graze Mazen, your ally, and teach you my Thum. Well, I'm always up for a new Thum, so I just, just call you, right? Trivial in your mind, perhaps. For me, it would mean a great deal. 
I don't require an answer, Quinarin. Simply speak my name to the heavens when you feel the time is right. Okay, and... How did he end up in a soul cairn? I know. The so-called ideal masters are not so ideal. And Quanarin, he already said why. It means vanquisher. So I'm going to duck out of that. And we're just going to move on. You're looking a little sunburned, you know that? Okay. Presumably now... Yeah. Time to exit out of this place. So, assuming it's a uneventful trip, I'm going to head back to the uh, portal thingy and exit stage out of here. Okay, here we are. Back to the semi-spiral staircase into the sky. Interesting way for a portal to show up, but hey, it works. All right. Completed. Beyond death. Very cool. Ah, she's coming. Okay, now we got to bring the scrolls to Dexion. Of course, I have a problem. <laughs> Once again, I can't go back to Dawnguard in this condition. Although this condition is a little bit different than the last time. Because this is not simply a situation of vampire. Because there's a little more than that right now. If I go over here to powers. Vampire Lord. Yeah, that's a thing. I'm not sure what all of that does just yet, but the fact it kind of floaty and uh, so on, that's kind of cool. Now, if I go over here to favorites, oh, bats. I've A Vampire Lord version of Whirlwind Sprint. <laughs> I like that. Let's see. And there's a whole bunch of others. Frost Cloud. Deflect Light and Shadow. Let's see that one. Vampire Invisibility. Sort of, kind of. All right. Uh... Frost Cloud. Okay, that's an offensive thing. Raise Dead. I don't know what that is. I've seen uh, what's her name do that. All right, Revert Form. And of course, she's not phased by any of that. Oops. What? I've still got that equipped? Oh, okay. There we go. Alright. Valkahar Balcony. And as I understand it, this location is a usable fast travel location to get to this part of the castle without Harkon and company realizing it. How they explain getting up here is beyond me, but it works, so I'm not going to complain. All right, going to have to head back to uh, Dawn Guard, but first, I'm going to have to go see uh, Falion again, and I really don't like doing that. But first, before I do that, let's get rid of that. 
I'm going to stop by Lakeview Manor and drop off some of the tons of crap I'm carrying. Okay, I got everything put away, and I'm getting ready to head up here to Morthal. And what I'm going to do this time is I'm just going to get up here, get this done, and then get back down to Fort Dark, you know, Fort Dawn Guard, and uh, so on. And I'll catch up with you there. Okay, here we are. Fort Dawn Guard. Vampirism removed again. And I spared you that nasty, really overdramatic uh, thing that What's His Face did. I trust your journey was successful. We have the Elder Scrolls, but you look like you have a problem. I'm sorry, my friend. I can no longer be of use in this matter. Yeah? It's my fault. In my haste to read the first scroll, I neglected the careful preparation required. I thought I'd be able to allay the after-effects, but I was wrong. Now I am paying for it. Yeah, yeah, I see that. You're blind. It's funny. I read an Elder Scroll, and it didn't give me any problems. Blind? Yes, I'm afraid so. Any cures? No. It will have to run its course. And there's always the chance I may never recover. Then, yeah. No, there is another way. The question is, how much are you willing to risk to find Oriole's bow? Well, like I said, I've read one of these scrolls before. What do I need to do? I can't guarantee you'd be free from harm. Becoming blind could be the least of your worries. Well, what's the deal? Scattered across Tamriel are secluded locations known only as Ancestor Glades. There's one in Skyrim in the Pine Forest. Performing the ritual of the Ancestor Moth within the Glade should provide the answers you seek. Okay, give me the details. It involves carefully removing the bark from a canticle tree, which will in turn attract Ancestor Moths to you. Once enough of the Moths are following, They'll provide you with the second sight needed to decipher the scrolls. And gathering the bark? In keeping with tradition, you must use a specific tool in the Ancestor Glade, an implement known as a draw knife. Every moth priest is taught this ritual, but few ever get the chance to perform it. You should consider yourself fortunate if it works for you. Uh, yeah. Any particular order? From what I saw in the vision, the Elder Scroll which foreshadows the defiance of the gods with the blood of mortals is the key to the prophecy. Okay, yeah. All right, seeking disclosure, started unseen visions. Okay. Good luck. I hope you find the answers you seek. Yeah, well, you know, they could do something about the lighting in here. He's got this sunray blaster up there. And yet, the lighting in here is terrible. That's better. Anyway, uh, I'm getting on past 25, almost 30 minutes here, so I think this is a good stopping point for this episode, and actually probably for today, and uh, so on, because not only have I recorded, like, well, this is like the fifth episode I've recorded today, fourth and uh, I need to uh, get busy with uh, getting episode 75 uploaded. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching. Take it easy. I am out of here.